Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just uh, the EVA decking how to on my boat. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and subscribe if you like. Thanks very much. Here we go, just got another video here, guys, on the uh, EVA decking I put in. A few people asked about it, so here's the video on it. Um, just shows you how I cut it out and more into how I was routering it and all the steps I did pretty much as you can see here i had a few strange corners and some thin bits to go around the seat boxes so i'll just go through how i did all that the templates and that sort of thing as you can see there what i did i just got clear plastic from bunnings it's like 25 bucks a sheet for 20 meters and i laid it down on the boat and cut it out rough and then i could just trace the outlines of the the boat pretty much as you can see there I put the tapes on the edges where they didn't quite get in after I cut them out. And then I used a different coloured shape uh, tape for the other side. So I could just flip it over and make a mirror for the other side of the boat. But I put the different coloured tape if there was any little bits that stuck out on the other one. You can just see there where it was a little bit longer on the other side at the front of the boat. And some little different shapes there around to do it. It's pretty simple. You just mark it out with the texture. It's not rocket science everyone knows how to do that and then i marked it out on the back of the the eva tread i got and then that was it then i just cut it out with the stanley knife in the shape after i've drawn it on there pretty simple the bits come out like that then i um then i started to stick them down and put them in like that i um i'll show you a video a bit later on what how easy it is to stick down the best process i sort of seen was to cut down the middle and that and then i rolled them all out with a piece of bar i had and actually it's just a roller a stainless steel bit of bar from the rollers but and i rolled all the air out of them it was actually pretty good i i managed i cut down the middle of the the tread and rolled half put half down then put the other half down and i got there's no bubbles in it or anything it all come out pretty good but getting into the routing of it this here is what I use for the routing. Everything there, Stanley knife, textures, router, soldering iron. I just go through a bit of what I did. It jumps between a couple of videos here, just to show you exactly what I did. This is what I started out with for a template for my floor. It was a sticker that my my dog ate, so it wasn't going on the side of the boat when I finished. That was an expensive one, that one he ate. But this is what I did pretty much. This is the template here. If I'd lay this down, I got chalk, and I just chalked them in. That's the best thing I could find. It didn't mark the EVA tread. It was easy to get off after. And then I set that Stanley knife up like that with the tiny little bit sticking out. A couple of mil there. Then you get the, the steel ruler down. I'll show you in a second how much is sticking out. There's not much at all. It's just enough to scribe into the second layer of stuff. I wanted to get at, not into the black hardly at all. So it was just enough to do that. I set it up. So this is the other one I was doing, the Jenks logo across it. You can see there, I've just chalked it in. That's exactly how it comes out. And it's a nice, easy stencil there. You can see I've just got the Stanley knife and I've scratched all those edges in with the Stanley knife, all the straight bits. And then I just did the other bits by hand. Freehand and it was curved. Every straight bit I do with the ruler. Just to make it nice, you can see here, I'm just showing you. You can see how light, it's the tiniest cut in there. A nice little tiny cut. And then just got into routing. I, I set the depth at the same depth as the, the grey. Sometimes I didn't, I just skimmed the top and left the tiny little bit of grey on the bottom. But it's it wasn't the end of the world. You can just push into the little the EVA deck a little bit. You push down with the router and you'll get that grey gone. But it's set up pretty good. You'll be able to see it here. I come along and you might see the it change where it starts to pull away from the edge where I routed it. Where I cut it, sorry, with the Stanley knife. You can see it pull away from the edge a little bit. And that's how you get that nice sharp edge on it. Into the corners, just went slow. It's hard to, I was filming that one, one handed, it's not real easy to see, but you can see it just, I just went slow and went out the shapes like that, followed the side of the lines. I kept about 
half a mil, I reckon, off where I cut the Stanley knife. And then it just it just peels off, like off where the Stanley knife cut is. It sort of pulls away by itself and it leaves a nice sharp edge there. Wherever your Stanley knife's the corners and that, you've just got to get a Stanley knife and get in there and do it. There's no easy way to do it. This is, once you've cut out the whole shape, I found the best way was to go the same direction. Say I was doing a big section in the middle, I'd up and down the same direction to cut all the insides out. You can see I change here. I spin, and then I go up and down this side. It just looks better than trying to go sideways and zigzagging and everything like that. It just sweeps up and down and across, slowly across, and that's it. I got that bit done there. As you can see, you can see the, the scuffs on the edges and that sort of thing. This is the Jenks craft one here. You can see all the little bits. All those very tiny, like sharp corners. I just got the Stanley knife in there, in them, and I just cut them out by hand. It takes five minutes, two minutes probably. And then um, you've got a little bit, you get some edging like that. They're bits I've just pulled out. Those big chunks of the bits I've just pulled out with the Stanley knife. But you can see the edges, like on the left hand side there, aren't quite sharp. So I just did a little demo here of what I did. But you need the soldering iron super hot. It's not quite hot enough here. I didn't leave it for long enough. I was just trying to take a video of the show one. But I just run it along like that. Straight along the edge there. And you can see on the on the, the J there how nice it comes up. This is a bit I just routed really fast to try and get the edges all wrecked. But if you just go along the edge there and you get that. And it just sort of, you can watch them suck it back in. And then they come up nice and sharp. And you can see there that bit of grey. If you just run the Stanley knife on that bit of grey, it's gone. It just eats away as well. But be careful with the Stanley knife. If you leave it for too long or you put it anywhere on the grey, like that, it just, that's it, it's done. There's no coming back. But here you can see a bit better. That's a, This is a hot Stanley knife. I let it heat up a bit more. You can just see it eats all those nice, the little furry bits off, just eats it like that. And it makes a real nice edge on it. Nice enough edge for me. Like it's not, you're not, I'm not going for the routing, the professional routing touch here. I'm just going for what I can do with my $70 pieces of EVA tread. And that's how it came up there. So it came up not too bad. Pretty sharp on the edges. It all come out pretty good, I thought. So for, and this is another bit here, you can see the little bits of grey, I just didn't quite push down hard enough with the router but that's easy fix, just go along it like that, even if you've got a few marks and that in there, you can sort of blend them with the, the soldering iron a little bit, it blends in pretty good, there's the T there I did, the J, and then um, this is just one I've, another one I've cut out, ready to go for the back of the boat. And then um, this is just what I did for the install to make it nice and easy. This is the best way I found. I don't know where I've seen it. I must have seen it somewhere because I wouldn't have thought of it. But yeah, just score down the middle and it's nice and easy. You rip that out and then you can place it. You can sit it down to where you want it. It'll stick enough, but you can just rip it off. If it's not in the right spot, you can move it around and that. But once you push it down like that, it's, it's stuck. But you can... You can rip it off easy enough, but it's stuck enough to, you know, peel the backing off and that. Then I just come over, it's stuck in the middle there. So I just get it and I just peel one side off. I did this with the big sheets as well, exactly the same. And then it's just stuck down like that, easy as that. I was gonna route all of my edges, but it was so hard to get a consistency with the depth. And as soon as you move the router a little tiny bit, it'll dig in and it looks silly. So I did the whole edges of the boat on the inside, all the water side edges, like anything that can possibly get water on, I did them with Sika Flex like that, black Sika Flex. So what I did is I put that little bead down the outside. I covered them with soap, as much soapy water as I could out of a spray bottle. And then I um, I just got the paddle pop stick and I run down it to get that nice curved edge. I did try and curve them with the router. I'm sure you could do it if you had the perfect template and you could line everything up square out of the boat but i just couldn't do it i couldn't get something straight enough and as soon as you'd move a tiny bit you'd cut into the black under layer a little bit more and you'd see it like it's stuck out like dogs balls so 
it's not that was pretty that's pretty easy it doesn't stick to anything you know and there's the that's the end job there that's the back of the boat the inside of the boat there I haven't quite finished there's still a few bits i've got to do on the back but that's all the flooring in i think it, it feels nice underfoot it can't pretty good for for under 300 bucks for the whole boat i've still got two full sheets to do the front sort of sitting in on the gunnels where we walk around it i think it can't pretty good for the price anyway you know it's not it's not three thousand dollar eva deck but it is what it is thanks very much for watching